The Alabama High School Regional Basketball Tournament tipping off at four different locations across the state this week. Let's take a look at our local 7A teams taking the court today in Montgomery and Birmingham. The Central and South Regional High School Basketball Tournaments taking place in Birmingham and Montgomery today, with several teams from Mobile and Baldwin County still on the hunt for a blue map. Up first this morning, we had your 7A girls matchups. The 7A area champion Foley Lions face Central Phoenix City in the Central Regional at Bill Harris Arena in Birmingham. Foley came out with the 64-57 win to advance to the finals. Congratulations to the Lions. Then Daphne had a matchup with Auburn in the Central Regional this afternoon. The Trojans falling to Auburn 63-57, your final in that one. Alma Bryant went head-to-head -head with Prattville in the South Regional at Garrett Coliseum in Montgomery. The Lady Hurricanes fell 76-30 and their postseason run comes to an end. Then number six Davidson was due up, taking on Enterprise. Janisa Jetsum led the Warriors scoring with 23 points, but it wouldn't be enough. The Warriors go down 47 to 37 and their run at the state title also comes to an end. The Baker boys team took the court in Birmingham going up against Jag. Our reigning player of the week, Derek Bam Florence, put up 26 points and had 15 rebounds to help lead the Hornets to a 67-49 win over the Jaguars and a spot in the finals. And Mary G. Montgomery went head to head with Enterprise today in the 7A Boys South Regional. DeMarcus Broughton Jr. put up 20 points for MGM, but the Wildcats defeated the Vikings 60-49. to And last but not least, Daphne and number 2 Auburn squaring off in the Central Regional. Auburn comes up with the win, beating the Trojans 69-60, to your final in that one. Congrats to all our local teams who advanced to the region finals so far, and good luck to those taking the court over the next few days. Tonight, Leroy goes head-to-head -head with Marengo in the 1A Girls South Regional at 6 p.m. We'll have your final score in that one later on tonight, and we'll have all your coverage on this tournament throughout the week right here on Fox 10. Reporting live in studio, I'm Emily Cochran, Fox 10 Sports.